Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So good. It's so good. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. How many people love what you feel in this place? Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's nothing like the presence of God. Amen. Worship today unto our Lord and Savior. Thank you. Thank you for your sensitivity to His Spirit. Yes, Lord. Thank you for your faithfulness to the house of God. Amen. It is the faithful that will finish. Praise yeah. God. Amen. Lord. Yes. Finish if you're not faithful. That's right. Hallelujah. Whenever an obstacle gets in the way, you got to push past it. Come on. Amen. 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 That's right. That's right. right. Yeah. Going. And we might don't have the privilege that we have. Right? Yes. Right. Yes. yes. So true. It's true. We're walking around blind. Jeez. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm quite sure I've talked along these lines before. Um, but I'm quite sure God wants me to revisit some of it. So, so I don't know who needs to hear this. I'm thinking probably all of us. Praise the Lord. And, um, and so I'm just going to let God have his way. Praise God. Amen. 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 If you have a Bible or you're next to somebody with one, go to 2 Kings chapter 7. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Second Kings chapter 7, verse 1. Then Elijah said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, Tomorrow about this time shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel, and two measures of barley for a shekel in the gate of Samaria. Then the Lord on whose hand the king leaned answered the man of God and said, Behold, if the Lord would make windows in heaven, might this thing be? And he said, Behold, thou shalt see it with thine eyes, but shalt not eat thereof. And there were four leprous men at the entering end of the gate, and they said one to another, Why sit we here until we die? If we say we will enter into the city, then the famine is in the city, and we shall die there. And if we sit still, we die also. Now therefore come and let us fall into the host of the Syrians. If they save us alive, we shall live. And if, if they kill us, we shall but die. Praise God. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. So these these this whole nation, so part of uh, the people that were there, they were in a bad situation. They were in a siege and they were surrounded and they could not go out and get provisions. And they just kept sitting there and wondering and waiting, trying to figure out what to do. And, um, and so this was an old time war strategy. That's what they do is because most of your cities were walled in and, and they, uh, for their protection. And, but what they would do is they'll surround them with a large army and then they would wait them out because they couldn't go out for supplies. They couldn't go out to get food. And, and then the, the fear would grip them. And so then it was easy for them to attack a weak, scared little group of people and they had no more will or strength to fight. That's right. And so um, the Lord wants to show us though what it is that we need to do Amen. when the devil tries to encircle you and put you in a position of no hope. Come on. Praise, Praise, God. God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. We can't sit around and let the devil take control of our lives. Amen. Take control of our ministries. Take control of our families. 
We got to do something about it. Amen. You can't stand around and just let him have his way. Amen. You can't allow yourself to get used to living like that. If you get used to living like that, then, hallelujah, every time you try to do something, the devil going to encamp you in. You'll never get anywhere. You'll never do anything. You'll never see the glory of God. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. One of the things you got to do if you're going to live for God, you got to graduate from faith to trust. Come on. Hey, That's right. Yeah. That's good. Faith to get started, hallelujah, but you got to trust him at some point. Yes. And he's going to do what he's able to do, and he's going to do what he said he's going to do. Yes. It's easy for me to believe it when you're talking, but it's, it's a lot different when the devil's coming at you. Yes. Yes. When, when your situation starts to get ugly. Yes. That's true. Glory to God. Glory to God. That's true. And so I like the attitude of these leprous men. Yes. yes. They had the proper attitude. And that's what I want to talk about today. Hallelujah. Tonight, you know, they decided we got to make a move. Amen. We got to make a move. Ooh, and so what we can learn from them, if we don't move, is this all is going to be. If we don't move, is this all is going to be. If we don't make a move, what's going to happen to the city of Angie? That's right. What's going to happen to the city of Fuquay, right. Smithfield, and all our surrounding cities? Yeah. If we don't make a move, what's going to happen to us as individuals and as families? Right. What's going to happen to our families? We sit here, yes. hallelujah, and just be afraid. Right. Right. And so God, in these scriptures, he's going to show us, hallelujah, how even those who didn't have an advantage, yeah. hallelujah, when they trusted in God, Hallelujah. When they stepped forward, Whoa. hallelujah, and had an attitude, I ain't got nothing to lose. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. And that's the attitude that we're going to have to get. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Give the Lord a hand, type of praise. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Glory to God. Glory to God. And so I'm going to read those four verses again. Because I, I want to minister from them. Then Elijah said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, Tomorrow about this time shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel, and two measures of barley for a shekel in the gate of Samaria. Then the Lord on whose hand the king leaned answered the man of God and said, Behold, if the Lord would make windows in heaven, might this thing be? And he said, Behold, thou shalt see it with thine eyes, but shalt not eat thereof. Mm. And so one of the first things we need to learn, we need to be careful, hallelujah, what we have to say when a man of God says something's going to happen. Right. 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 Well, That's true. We got to be careful what we say behind the things that, hallelujah, are told of us by the preachers that come That's through right. here. Yeah. Hallelujah. Um, yeah. Uh, praise God if I say something, you know, we need to be careful. Amen. Hallelujah. The attitude that we take toward yes. what we're hearing yes. in the word of God. That's right. That's right. That's right. Because yeah. when you're coming against the word of God and not believing the word of God, you're not believing God. Come on. Right. Yeah. That's it. Hallelujah. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Yeah. And when you're hearing the word of God being preached, hallelujah, out of the Bible, out of the word of God, you're listening to God talk. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. And everything we do with God has to do with faith. Right. Right. We right. got to believe him. We got to trust him. We got to believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them who uh, of them who diligently seek him. Amen. Amen. Diligent is a polite word for stubborn. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You got to believe God no matter what the devil says. Amen. You got to believe God no matter what your friends say. Right. You got to believe God no matter what your enemies say. Right. Glory to God. We got to have a, a, a made up mind about what God says he's going to perform it. Amen. Right. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. And so here's the part, hallelujah, that really touched my heart about it. And there were four leprous men at the entering of the gate, and they said one to another, why sit we here until we die? Hallelujah. These guys were a living death sentence. There was no cure for leprosy. Amen. Hallelujah. The medicine hadn't come that far yet, and nobody had no ideas about it. Hallelujah. They already knew that they were going to die at some point, probably sooner than everybody else. Hallelujah. But they knew they was definitely going to die if they keep on sitting here and, and, and being afraid to step forward. Right. 
Hallelujah. And try to get some life. Hallelujah. I wonder how many people are healthy and got sound minds, but they're scared to move. Come on. That's true. Come on. That's good. Glory to God. You can't let. That's what a siege is. Hallelujah. When there's so much fear, you're scared to do anything except for what you was doing before. That's right. Hallelujah. It's time to move to a new level. Yes. It's time to move into a new part Amen. place in the spirit. Amen. It's time to believe that God has called you to do something, hallelujah, that nobody else can do. Amen. It's time to stop looking at your condition that you're in. Hallelujah. Look at the position that he's in. Hallelujah. You'll never do anything if you keep looking at yourself. Hallelujah. You're the only one that needs that. God don't need no saving. God is the Savior. God is the one that's going to empower you to do something you never did before. God to get the glory for what he want to do. Because he, he, God gets the glory when people move in faith with God. Yeah. Hallelujah. And then God will do things that they can't do. Oh, Thank you, Jesus. If we say we will enter into the city, then the famine is in the city and we shall die there. And if we sit still here, we die also. Now therefore come, let us fall unto the host of the Syrians, and if they save us alive, we live. And if they kill us, we shall but die. Yeah. Hallelujah. Everybody got an appointment with death no matter what. Right. Ain't no sis sitting around waiting on it. Yeah. Hallelujah. You might as well get something done before you die. Yeah. You might as well give God some glory before you die. Hallelujah. You might as well get something done in your family before you die. Yeah. Hallelujah. We all got to die. Hallelujah. But to die in Christ is gain. step past your fear, God will just blow your mind and do something hallelujah that you cannot do. Right. Hallelujah. He just wants you to exercise the faith, right. hallelujah, that your life don't really belong to you in the first place. Right. God gave you your first breath and he's going to give you your last breath. Amen. What are you going to do with all the breaths he gives you? Are you going to glorify God or are you just going to hold back? Hallelujah. How long can you hold your breath? Come on. Not very long. Amen. Hallelujah. Jeez. Hallelujah. That's why you keep on breathing. Because you trust in that God put enough air in the earth for you to keep on living. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, you got to look at that in the spiritual. Yes. Hallelujah. If God breathed on you and filled you with the precious Holy Ghost, Amen. hallelujah, what makes you think that God can't give you another breath of the Holy Ghost? Come on. Hallelujah. Don't be afraid to use what you got. Holy, don't be afraid to teach a Bible study. Amen. Don't be afraid to proclaim something in the Holy Ghost. Don't be afraid, hallelujah, to worship in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, because whatever God gave me, he's able to refill it. Amen. He's able to give you more than you had when you started. Hallelujah, ain't no sense sitting back here and afraid to use what you got. Hallelujah, if these poor people didn't have anything, you know, when you get leprosy, your stuff starts falling off of you. That's true. So you can't use your hands no more. You know, many of you know, I, I, I love, you know, I think my wife got a pretty nose. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. But sometimes you guys remember they only have one nostril. Yeah. The leprosy eats it off. 
But they, they wasn't looking at the fact of what they had lost. They looked at the fact that God, hallelujah, I, I'm going anyway. I'm going to die anyhow. I ain't got nothing to lose. Right. I can't just give up my life. Their fingers, some of your fingers are gone when you got leprosy. Yeah. Hallelujah. But they went out there where the, where the provision was at. They're going to find a way to drag them home. However, I got to get to God's blessing. I got to get to God's blessing. Amen. I can't let the flesh hold me back from getting God's blessing. Amen. There's too many of us worried about what's going to happen to the flesh. Amen. When God done went before you, prepared, he already ran the enemy out the way. He waiting on you to move. Come on. God has already moved on them. When you start feeling they need God, God's already moving. Amen. If God wasn't moving them, he wouldn't be talking to you. You can't just sit here and mm. is this all it going to be? No. No, 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 no. Is it just only going to be good church every so often? No. No. For God for a pretty good while now, about 28 years, and I ain't seen my best blessings yet. Amen. Amen. I know that's right. I'm looking forward to something, hallelujah, that I ain't never felt before. Amen. I'm looking to see something happen, hallelujah, I ain't never seen happen before. Hallelujah, my God, He ain't running out of blessings, He ain't running out of miracles, Amen. He ain't running out of power. Yeah. What happens is we run out of faith. allowed to happen. It's true. And they rose up in the twilight to go to the camp of the Syrians and when they were come to the uttermost part of the camp of Syria, behold, there was no man there. I just wonder sometimes if we did make a move that God is wanting us to move and all the things that we fear about doing something we ain't never did before. Although I wonder what's really there by the time you get there. God has moved away. Whatever you fear, right. he had already took care of it. Hallelujah. And all those, the kings and the soldiers and all them, they still locked up in there. Hallelujah. But the ones that they have hardly much and all, they said, but well, we're we going to see what's going to happen anyhow. Amen. Amen. You'll never get no better being scared. That's right. That's right. That's right. True. Everything that you didn't learn in life, hallelujah, you didn't know how to do it until you tried to do it. Right. Right. We need to stop sitting on our hands. We need to stop being afraid to try something we ain't done before. Amen. We need to step out and see if God is as powerful. Hallelujah, as the Bible says he is. Oh. Is he a transformer? Has he already transformed some things in your life already? What makes you think he's going to run out of blessings? Hallelujah. We're all in one hope of our calling. You didn't get here by accident. You was called into the church. You was called to the lighthouse. You were called in the duty. Glory to God. Stop sitting on your hands and do something. Hallelujah. If you never did before. Hallelujah. Are you afraid you might grow? Right. That's what happened to some people. A lot of people are great, afraid to grow. Because if you grow, you got more responsibility. Glory to God. Glory to God. You can't be afraid to grow. Yeah. Hallelujah. If God brings you to another level, hallelujah, he's going to empower you to that level. Yeah. And when he empowers you to that level, hallelujah, he's waiting. Right? I'm sending him to another level. Because if you just sit in one place, this is all you're going to get. That's right. That's right. Right. Thank you. This is all you're going to get. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know about you. I'm one of them times. I'm kind of hard to satisfy. Come on. Yeah, man. Hallelujah. Jeez. When I was a young man, when we played sports, the game wasn't over until the buzzer went off. Right. Jeez. We just kept scrapping. Yeah. And kept scrapping. And I've seen all kinds of miracles mm -hmm. and all kinds of different things that happen. And that's how we got to be in the kingdom of God. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's you can't right. be afraid of progress. Yeah. Right. yeah. The worst thing that can happen if you try something that don't work is that you'll learn something. That's right. Now I don't know what not to do, but I'm going right back in there. Right. I'm going to try this again. I'm not going to do that when I go in there, but I'm going back and see if I can get this thing completed. Amen. Yeah. 
It's the will of God for everybody yeah. to win a soul. Yeah. God didn't give you the Holy Ghost just to talk in tongues. He gave the Holy Ghost to be a witness. Yeah. He gave the Holy Ghost to be a vessel. Yeah. You want the Holy Ghost to flow off you to somebody that don't know God. Yeah. I believe that's how all of us got here. Yeah. Somebody witnessed to us. Like he said, so mama prayed for us. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, the only way the world gonna know us is God. Praise God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And they rose up at twilight to go into the camp of the Syrians. And when they were come to the uttermost part of the camp of Syria, behold, there was no man there. For the Lord had made the host of the Syrians hear a noise of chariots and a noise of horses, even the noise of a great host. And they said one to another, Lo, the king of Israel have hired against us the kings of the Hittites and the kings of the Egyptians to come upon us. Wherefore they arose and fled in the twilight and left their tents and their horses and their, their asses, even the camp as it was, and fled for their lives. Hallelujah. The first enemy was the doubter who favored by the king. That one man that was still doubt, speaking doubt. Okay. You know, he, he, he's supposed to be the one encouraging. Yeah. He worked for the king. A little bit. These leopard men had more faith than a man that had a position. Amen. Oh, oh. Amen. Oh, y'all didn't get that one. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. You don't need to have a position to have faith. Amen. All right. Yeah. You don't need to have a position to do something for God. All right. That's true. That's true. You don't have to have a title to do something That's for God. That's right. right. Hallelujah. All the, all, all the time I was in the local church, I never had a title. Right. And the pastor let me baptize people and do all the other stuff. I wasn't looking for a title. Amen. I was looking for soul. I was looking for Bible stuff. I was looking for miracles. I was looking for places to keep. I ain't have time to wait around for the name. Hallelujah. I just told guess what happened over here? Guess what God did over there? Because I mean, you're not gonna have no title when you go into your judgment. No, I'm right now. Right. Amen. Not gonna have no title when you stand before God. Right. Come on. But God is gonna have a record of everything that you did. Yes. Yeah, He's gonna have a record of the actions of your faith. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hallelujah. And your sins, and whether you, you quit or not. Right. Whether you was willing to grow. God, glory Amen. to God. And when the lepers came to the most part of the camp, they went into one tent and did eat and drink and carried this silver and gold and raiment and went and hid it and came again and entered into another tent and carried this also and went and hid it. And so they went in there collecting stuff. I don't know what they used. You know, their limbs is probably all tore up. You know, and, 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 and I don't know how much strength they have, but I tell you what, they had some faith. Yeah. And they had some courage. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Four leprous men walking toward a whole army. Hallelujah. We can't get us to walk toward one person they need witnessing to. All right. Yes. Hallelujah. We got a whole lot more power, a whole lot more favor, a yeah. whole lot more understanding. Hallelujah. Got the Almighty God. Hallelujah. Behind us. Hallelujah. I, I doubt if I want a broken down, busted leper to have more faith than God can use me. God, glory to God. Sometimes I think when people don't want to be used to God, it's not because they're afraid, because they're afraid of work. Uh -huh. Doing something for God is work. Yes. That's right. You got you, you to get busy. Amen. Yeah. Oh, help me, Jesus. Here's a little comment I wrote. If you, you know, <clears throat> sometimes to move up into new levels of faith, God will put our back up against the wall. Mm. We must earnestly contend for the faith that was once delivered to the saints. That's Jude 1 and 3. 
The children of Israel received their complete freedom and biblical example of baptism by going through yes, yes. the Red Sea. That's right. And it looked like it wasn't nowhere to go. But they had to strengthen themselves. Right. Okay. And, and, and you know, what, what, what I always remember the most about that sequence, when the man of God was there praying, hallelujah, and he said, you know, um, <clears throat> oh, I forgot what I was going to say. And, and, and when the man of God was there praying, and the Lord spoke back to Moses and said, you know, wherefore are you calling on me? Stretch out your arms and divide the sea. Moses already knew the miracle power of God. And he said, what you standing around here complaining for? Take the people that go on through there. Okay. How many of y'all have seen the miracle power of God before? Yeah. How much Holy Ghost have we felt in this place? Yeah. How come we're afraid for God to use us for something? Hallelujah. God's going to move it. Hallelujah. But he's waiting for you to speak to us. Amen. Right. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. You have to tell this door to open. Right. You have to tell the way sea to get out of the way. Right. If you want to get to the promised land, hallelujah, God's waiting on you to say something about it. Right. He called you to a powerful life. talking about charismatic, charismatic church. Right, right, right. But I'm talking about speaking faith. Right, right, right. That's right. Jeez. We need to talk to our situations that we get in. Amen. It don't look like nothing happening. I'm going in there anyway. When I met Brother Higgs, hallelujah, I ain't have saints at first. Amen. But I met Brother Higgs looking for a building. Amen. Amen. Because I said God's going to do something. Amen. I'm not going to sit here and cry my Kool-Aid because of the pandemic. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. I'm going to find somewhere to have church. That's what I came here for. Amen. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. And now, not only did we get a building, but we got a minister. Amen. You got to believe God to the uttermost. Amen. He's walking with you. He's directing your steps. For your lack of look at the ability of God. Right. He's just looking for somebody that want to go forward. Right. Yeah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, God. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you. Oh, help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. So as they said in verse 8, when the, these lepers came to the uttermost part of the camp, they went into one tent and did eat and drink and carry away silk, this silver, gold, raiment, uh, went and hid it, came again and entered into another tent, carried this also, and went and hid it. Then they said one to another, we do not well. This day is a day of good tidings and we hold our peace. If we tarry till morning light, some mischief will come upon us. Now therefore come that we may go and tell the king's house. That's the reason why God's sending you in there. Because after you go and see the miracle of God, he wants you to come back and tell everybody else. Amen. Praise God. But if you don't get up and move, you'll never have nothing to tell nobody. That's Right. Except for woe is me. I can't do much. Yes. I'm tired. Yes. I'm scared. Yes. Hallelujah. I'd rather tell somebody I tried. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Tried in the Bible just means tested. Right. Yes. Hallelujah. You know, you, you need to try God and test him and see if he's going to come through for you. Yes. Yes. Right. Glory to God. I wasn't born to teach Bible studies. I learned by trying. The Amen. first four or five Bible studies I taught, I just read it off the page. Because right. the word of God is good no matter what. Yeah. But I saw some people get baptized in Jesus' name. Yeah. I saw some people get the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I didn't learn how to teach, but it was teaching itself. Yeah. You don't got nothing to fear. The tools that God has given you to be able to do something. Yes. Yeah. Praise God. Oh, God. It's going to work if you use it. 
you don't use it, I'll tell you what will happen. God will give it to somebody else. I'm absolutely sure. Hallelujah. That when I came out of the world, hallelujah, God brought me in there to replace some people that wasn't doing nothing. Amen. They wasn't doing nothing when I got there. Hallelujah. And they wasn't doing nothing when they left there. Because after a while, God got them out. Right. And brought a whole nother group of people in there that was hungry for God. Right. And they are winning souls. And hallelujah. They are seeing miracles. And, and God is blessing their households and their families. Hallelujah. And the other ones are going around. A lot of them that left, they ain't even in church no more. Hallelujah. God can't use lazy, scared folks. God can't use people that's scared to challenge themselves. God can't use people, hallelujah, that's going to walk around and say, oh, whoa, it's me, the devil is coming at me. Hallelujah, the devil's coming at you. You didn't hit him when he did that. Just like James did, like we read this morning, every time the devil said something, he quoted the scripture. Hallelujah, after a while, the devil ended up having to leave, and then the angels come. I love when the angels come. The angels can't come until you use the word of God. It's just going to stay like it is. Hallelujah, if you don't never make a move. When you make a move, faith without works is dead being alone. Stop saying you believe God and move for God. Because if you move for God, God will move for you. Those lepers moved, and God moved the enemy and left everything they needed right there. God just waiting on us to move. Hallelujah. We start making some move, God's going to move. Well, what do we do that they say? We can just sit there and just die. Nope. Glory to God. Glory to God. So they came and called unto the porter of the city, and they told them, saying, We came to the camp of the Syrians, and behold, there was no man there, neither voice of man, but horses tied and asses tied, and tents they were. And he called the porters, and they told to the king, uh, to the king's house within. And the king arose in the night and said unto the servants, I will now show you what the Syrians have done unto us. They know that we are hungry, therefore are they gone out of the camp to hide themselves in the field, saying, When they come out of the city, we will catch them alive and get them into the city. And one of the servants answered and said, Let some take, I pray thee, five of the horses that remain, which are left in the city. Behold, they are all the, the multitude of Israel that are left, are left in it. Behold, I say, they are even as all the multitude of the Israelites that are consumed. And let us sin and see. Hallelujah. You see, faith is contagious. Yes. Yes. That's good. It was another man. Hallelujah. Just a servant. He just said, you know, we can't just sit here. Hallelujah. Because they're going to come in and get us sooner or later. Right. We might as well come, go and see what these four leprous men. If they had a, a, a problem with shame. Yeah. <laughs> you know, these leprous men went out there with the enemies at to see what's going on. Hallelujah. How are we going to sit up in here with our army? Well, Amen. And not go forth and see it so as they say. Right. Mm. Come on now. And so then the king was put in a position. <laughs> How long is he going to be king if he's afraid to try to put up a fight? Mm. They took therefore two chariot horses, and the king sent after the host of the Syrians, saying, Go and see. And they went after them unto Jordan, and lo, all the way was full of garments and vessels which the Syrians had cast away in their haste. And the messengers returned and told the king. And the people went out and spoiled the tents of the Syrians. So a measure of fine flour was sold for a shekel and two measures of barley for a shekel according to the word of the Lord. Mm. Glory to God. So they went out there. It was like they said. And hallelujah. And, and the Lord scared them so bad they left all their stuff trying to get out of there in haste. Amen. I just wonder what God will do if you make a move. Amen. Amen. I guarantee you, by the time you, you get past what you're afraid of, your enemy will be afraid of you. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's true. God's going to prove himself strong in your behalf. Yes, he will. Yes, yes. Man, he will. But here, here, here's, the, here's the thing. And the king appointed the Lord, and the king appointed the Lord 
on whose hand he leaned to have charge of the gate. So he got the motion. And the people trolled upon him in the gate, and he died, as the man of God said, who spake when the king came down to him. And so if he had opened his heart gate of faith, he wouldn't have ended up being the doormat to the gate. Wow. Jesus. Mm. See, did you understand what I just said? Yeah. Right. You got to open your heart up, hallelujah, when the word of the Lord is going forth. Hallelujah. Unless you get trampled in them that do believe it. Oh, right. Yes. 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 Wow. That's good. Okay. Because he didn't want to believe the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. That's why the man of God prophesied against him. Hallelujah. And God's word came to pass. Yes. Hallelujah. Don't sit on your hands. If I'm saying go forward. Amen. Don't sit on your hands if the evangelist is saying there's more that we can have. Amen. Don't sit on your hands, hallelujah, and complain, hallelujah, about the work of it. Go out there and see what God will do. Amen. God will take the enemies off. Amen. God will make sure there ain't nothing for you to fear. Yes. God will give you dominion, hallelujah, yes. over whatever's out there. Hallelujah, if he wouldn't have sent you out there. Hallelujah, we need to stop being afraid. Hallelujah, glory. Right. I'm thankful today. Yeah. Hallelujah, Brother Hicks and, 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 and uh, Sister Wright went out there. Yeah. She said, I never did this before. I'm, I'm going. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. We got to go forward. That's right. We can't be afraid. The world is waiting to see what we're going to do. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Mm. I want you to think about it. Yeah. The parallel to what's going on now. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's panicking about the things that's going on in the world right now. Right. There ain't enough provisions. There's, there, there's not enough this. There's not enough that. And we fight too many countries at, at one time. Amen. That's true. But we, we, can't, we can't sit around and upgrade no. and feed. No. Right. Right. Amen. We can't let that get in the church. No. No. All the things that's going on in the world, this is creating our finest hour. Because right. right. people are running out of political answers. Right. That's right. right. They're going to have to start looking past presidents and governors and kings and start looking at the people of God. Why they're not afraid? Why are they going forward? Why are they getting miracles? Why are they households paid for? Why are they driving new cars? You know, uh, it must be something to it because the politics ain't doing us no good. We are the light of the world. The world to see what we're going to do. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Good. I want you to step forward. Amen. Amen. Lack of faith will cause people to die. Amen. And without faith, you will never please God. That's the word. It's impossible. To please God Amen. without faith. Yes. It's impossible. Now, you're all sitting here because you got faith. Amen. True. Okay, But you got to take your faith to another level. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. We didn't already receive the salvation message. We didn't already obey. It's time to obey some deeper commandments. Amen. It's time to graduate into some, some actions. Yes. Hallelujah. We, we got to believe that God can anoint us to do something. Amen. We got to believe that God will anoint us, hallelujah, to bring more people to church, yes. to find the places that we need to go. Yes. Right. God want to bless your finances, hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God, glory to God. Yes. God's going to use you for so many things yes. if you step out in faith yes. and believe that your God can do anything. Yes. Yes. Glory to God, glory to God. I'm just going to mention a couple people, then I'm going to be finished. The woman with the issue of blood made her move and got the miracle. And behold, there came a man named Jairus, and he was the ruler of the synagogue, and he fell down at his feet and besought him that he would come into his house. For he had one daughter, about 12 years of age, and she lay dying. But as he went, the people thronged him. And a woman having an issue of 12 years, which spent all her living upon physicians, neither could be healed of any, came behind him and touched the border, border of his garment, and immediately her issue of blood staunched. Right. And when Jesus said, you know, he said, who touched me? And when all denied, 
Peter and they that were with him said, Master, the multitude thronged thee and pressed thee and saying, Thou who touch me. Hallelujah. Because God was looking for who was going to touch him. Yeah. He wasn't worried about them thronging around. They wanted to get souvenirs and say they seen Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. But these people, they needed Jesus Christ. That's these right. people believed that Jesus Christ could help them. Right. Hallelujah. We got to believe that Jesus Christ wants us to do something instead of just being onlookers. Right. You ain't going to receive the Holy Ghost until you believe that you can have it. Amen. You're not going to receive a new blessing in the Holy Ghost until you believe that you can have it. Amen. But you're going to have to touch Jesus to get it. That's right. Amen. I'm sitting back. To give, God wants you to have it. Jesus. Glory to God. And Jesus left there and went and took care of the man's daughter as well. Yep. Amen. Right. But he was, he, he was two people in bad situations. All the people in the good situation just, they just want to look safe. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, I saw Jesus. Yeah. And, and that's what the world is doing right now. You know, you, you mentioned Jesus and it's, yeah, I heard about Jesus. But they don't want to worship him. Right. They don't want him to do nothing for them because then they're going to owe him some praise. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. I say if you start praising them now, you won't owe him nothing. <laughs> oh, come on, yeah. man. That's what he created you for. Yeah. Yeah. The Bible says that's what he's looking for. Come on. The true worship of God, right? Yeah. That's what he's looking for. Yeah. And if you start praising him, hallelujah, God will start doing stuff. Yeah. 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 That will blow your mind if you start praising him. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. hallelujah. Yeah. That's the American woman. She wouldn't worry about what people thought about her. Right. Yeah. It made no difference how many husbands she had. She was looking for something. Yes, she was. Yes. And I, I noticed that the, at the end of her situation, she had the whole city come out behind her. Ooh. Yes, she did. Amen. Right. Mm -hmm. what, what, what would God do if you step out? Thank you. Oh, <laughs> oh, you just want to keep things just like they are. Oh, oh. Uh, I, I, can't, I can't be satisfied like that. No. I done seen some stuff, but I ain't satisfied yet. I want to see the next thing God's going to do. I want to be involved in the next thing that God's going to do. I mean, this, this, this world is going to have major league problems. I want to see what God's going to do about all these situations. I know that God's going to deliver his people here, but I want to be, I want to see something happen. Hallelujah. I, I don't want to be in the background. Come on. Glory to God. I, I don't want to be like the king sitting back there. You know, I, I don't know. I ain't for sure. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You, you, you ain't going to get nowhere if you don't put up no fight. That's right. You ain't going to see nothing if you don't do nothing. That's right. Amen. It's just going to stay something that's going to stay the same. Yes. Yeah. I'm not interested in the same. Amen. Come on. Now. Right. Man, I love this place, but this ain't the. This is not the building I'm looking for. Come on. Right. Yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, we just broke a mold that a lot of home missions don't break by going over 20 people. Amen. Amen. They usually, if they don't get 20 people out the wild, they quit. Try to set it by with 20. Amen. And I ain't gonna be satisfied with 120 people. Amen. Because you're here to use it. Praise God. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isaiah 55 and 5 says, Behold, thou shalt call a nation that thou knowest not, and the nations that knew not. Thee shall run unto thee because of the Lord thy God and for the Holy One of Israel, for he have glorified thee. But here's what it says Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Yes. Yes. Call ye upon him while he is near. Yes. But here's the here's the kicker. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. 
and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, mm. and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon him. There's nothing impossible with God. That's right. right. God has brought you out of darkness. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. And all your sins are pardoned away. Amen. God wants you to move forward. Yes. And leave yes. the past, hallelujah, behind Amen. you. Amen. Right. Amen. Keep stepping forward. Amen. Hallelujah. I know some of you have been used of God in different ways, but God's not finished using you yet. Amen. All right. Keep moving forward. Yes. Keep moving forward. Keep Amen. on believing God. Amen. Other people that sit around and complain, they never see no miracles. Right. I'll be doggone if I'm going to let a leprous man run out and see more than me and I'm healthy. Come on. Right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Glory to God. Glory to God. I don't want that testimony when I stand before God. Come on, right. Woo. Revelation 3 and 20. And I'm, I'm, I'm closing. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. Right. Luke 13 and 25. When once the master of the house is risen up and have shut the door and ye begin to stand without and to knock at the door saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. And he shall answer and say unto you, I know you not whence ye are. Are you going to make a move? Or you gonna get into the judgment and God gonna say, I don't know you. Mm -hmm. I never saw you doing nothing. Jesus. Yes. Jesus. I never saw your life giving me any glory. Mm -hmm. It's time to stop being afraid of who you are. Jesus. And let God make of you what he wants to make of you. Jesus. I, I want the, the musicians. Go ahead and start singing. Come this far by faith. Yes, Lord. Leaning on the Lord. How much faith do you have? Trusting in his holy word. He's never failed me yet. Never fail. 